Temperature is a little bit cooler today than expected, and it's going to help alleviate any severe or even strong storm potential this evening. Here's a live look right now over Grand Rapids and a little bit of a shaky camera. We're seeing winds out of the east at 20 to 25 miles per hour across the area. So it is a fairly breezy day, but temperatures, like I said, we're looking at the low 60s. We've been hanging tough only in the mid 50s with mostly to even overcast skies for everybody. We've seen the on and off rain showers as well. That's what's really helped keep us much cooler. We're only at 51 in Baldwin, low 50s north of Grand Rapids. 55 in Grand Rapids. Those upper 50s start to show up when you get near I-96 and then the 60s start to show up near I-94. We're at 60 in Kalamazoo, 62 in Law and 61 Cassopolis. We're at 66 in St. Joseph. So it's interesting to note that 60 degree line basically from Kalamazoo, Holland, down towards Coldwater to the south and west. That's where we're having the chance for the severe weather potential. Exactly there, Holland, Allegan, Kalamazoo, just outside of Coldwater. Three rivers included in it, Benton Harbor, Berrien County, all the way down towards South Bend, and then eventually the Chicago Metro. This is tonight as the next wave of storms move into our area, and you can see it right here in the future track. This is at 930 tonight where we're already seeing the thunderstorms into southwest Michigan. Uh, this will continue to lift to the north and east, but as it does, it enters the cooler air, which is why we're going to be seeing less and less severe weather as it lifts off to the north and east. But we could definitely see an isolated severe storm with this, maybe uh, some heavier downpours, no hail expected, just some really strong lightning, some heavier thunder as well. Behind that, we're going to be seeing some cloud cover uh, increase, mostly cloudy skies, maybe a little bit of a drizzle possible for your day on Sunday. So here's a look at the two day forecast, low 60s on Sunday. By the time we get to Monday, mostly cloudy skies and temperatures only in the mid 50s. But coming up on Fox 17 News at 11, I'll break down the full seven day forecast for when we finally get the